Hey guys, it's Ryan from Oracle 12 and EpicDroid.com, and I'm here today with a super quick video showing you guys how to restore two-button navigation on your Google Pixel 7. So, two-button navigation, real quick recap, was a feature that was rolled out, I believe it was in Android 9. With Android 11, Google decided they didn't like it anymore, and they got rid of it. However, if you have a rooted device, uh, so prerequisite, you do have to have a rooted device for this to work, but if you have a rooted device, you can install a Magisk module that will allow you to have that two-button navigation back. So what you're going to do is the first thing is you're going to go into Google Chrome or whatever your uh, web browser of choice is. You're going to go to rwilco12.com and I'll have a link to this in the description down below. And as you can see here, we have this file browser and in here there are two different files. There is a two-button navigation short as well as a two-button navigation standard. The short mode is where it makes it so your little nav bar is about the height of this one right here. So it's super short and it's not the standard height that you would normally see. And the standard option is what you would have seen on older devices that had two-button navigation enabled out of the box. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pull up Magisk. And you're going to go over here to this Modules tab. You're going to hit Modules. Then you're going to hit the Install from Storage button. You're going to navigate to the button that you just downloaded. And you're going to tap on it. It's going to install it. It's going to install it to your temp directory. And then you just hit the Reboot. And it's going to finish starting up. And then we're going to go into our Settings. In settings, you'll scroll down to system, you'll click on gestures, and in gestures you're going to scroll down until you see system navigation, and as you can see here you have gesture navigation, that's the one we're using right now. You have three button navigation, which is the new default, so you have your home, your recents, and then your back button, or you have two button navigation. So once you've hit that option, you have two button navigation enabled, and presto, you are good to go. If you guys have any questions about this method, please feel free to hit us up in the comments section down below and we'll reply as soon as we are available. If you've enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, just want to tell you guys thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.